In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Select Cases tool in SPSS so that we can select a specific range or cases of data to do our analysis on. So I'm going to do a couple of examples. The first one is just a simple one. I'm going to use gender and I'm going to only select females to do my analysis. So I need to know what coding females are. If I take off my labels, I can see that I've labeled females with a 1. So if I want to select females, I need to use their code. If I go to data and select cases, I'm going to use a condition to satisfy in order to select my cases by. So I'm going to choose that option, click on if, and here I'm going to use gender to specify what only females. So move over gender equals one because one is the coding for female. If I click continue and then OK, if I go back, I can see that all participants who are male have been slashed out. This means that any analysis I do from this point onward will exclude all male participants. So if I do a correlation or I get some descriptive statistics or make a chart or graph, it's only going to show data for female participants. Once you're done, make sure to go back and unselect those cases. Before we do that, I just want to show you at the end here, SPSS creates a filter variable and it says selected or not selected. And you'll notice that these selected or not selected correspond to where the slashes are. So not selected gets a slash. These have been coded as ones and zeros. And this is just for SPSS to know which data to use and which not to use. So do leave that variable in as long as you want to use the filter. If I want to take out the filter, I can just clear that and then my selection disappears. I can also go back to data, select cases, and I can hit the reset button. Now what happens if I want to use a couple of groups from a data set? So I've got this rated skill here and say I only want to look at fairly skilled or highly skilled. Let's have a look at our coding here for rated skill. If I go over to values, I can see it's unskilled, semi-skilled, fairly skilled, or highly skilled. And I just want to do some analysis on fairly skilled or highly skilled employees. So these are coded as 3 and 4. Go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to go back to select cases. And I'm going to do an if condition again. Click on if. This time, I'm going to use my rated skill of work. And if the rated skill is a 3, space, or space, if my rated skill is a 4, then I want to select those cases. It's really important that you have a space between the on either side of the or, otherwise it won't recognize it. If I go ahead and click continue and then OK, go back to my data set, I can see now that all participants who are unskilled or semi-skilled have been slashed out. So if I do any analysis, it will not include these unskilled or semi-skilled workers. And again, I have a, a filter variable. Let's go ahead and clear that. Now the last example I want to do is what if you want to specify an AND condition? So for example, I want to look at females who are highly skilled. So that's an AND, both female and highly skilled. Now highly skilled is coded with a 4, and remember females are coded with a 1. So if I go back to data, select cases, Let's reset this. If condition gender equals one and make sure to put a space on either side, rated skill of work equals four. Go ahead and click continue. Now one thing I didn't mention before is down here at the bottom you have a few options. You can choose to just filter out the unselected cases which is what we've been doing. You can copy them to a new data set or you can just delete the unselected cases. I wouldn't recommend the last option unless you've got backup copies of your data. This is actually useful if, say, you've got a huge data set with lots of people in it, but otherwise I would choose this one or the first option. Go ahead and click OK. We go back to our data set. Again, we can see there's a lot slashed out and only females who are highly skilled are left. 